trust me, you need one. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion and Face. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you are new around here, hi, my name is Patrice. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you how I style my leather trench coat. So. I've had quite a lot of compliments on this trench coat, so I thought to myself, it is one of the, you know, like autumn winter trends this year. So I thought, let me just show you guys how I would actually style it. So the trench coat is actually from weekday, but it is no longer available. However, you can find leather trench coats everywhere at the moment. They are seriously like the rage. So um, I've seen some on, I've seen one on Zara's website, so definitely check out that. So yeah, I'm sure if you have a little shop around, you will find one. So let's jump straight into this video okay so for outfit number one I am wearing these really nice paper bag um, waist jeans that I've got these are from ASOS but I think that they're by Pull and Bear um, and I got these in the summertime then I'm wearing it with this mesh top this is from Topshop and then for shoes I am wearing my chunky boots that I've got these are from ASOS and um, with this outfit basically the main idea of it was to kind of make myself and obviously like you guys because I'm telling you guys to make myself a bit more of the, aware of the fact that I can still wear light colours, light coloured trousers, light coloured jeans in autumn mainly because you know it can be quite difficult because you just feel like well it's now getting darker, it's colder, those are more summer colours but you can actually incorporate those kind of colours into your autumn wardrobe and the best way to do that is so with this top that I'm wearing as you can see it's got like quite a few different colours in it but it does have cream in it and it also has black in it so that makes it a lot easier to pair this with absolutely anything so you could wear this with black jeans you could wear this with cream jeans you could wear this with red jeans like you could literally wear this with basically everything because it's got quite a lot of colours in the actual top so that is what led me to pair it with the um, cream paper bag jeans because I felt like it worked really really well and then because it also has black in it it allows you to incorporate black into the rest of your outfit i.e why I decided to pair it with the chunky boots and then obviously the trench coat itself is actually black so I feel like this outfit is really really nice and I feel like it just made me feel a bit more experimental with the kind of colours that I wear during autumn because I don't want to be too focused on just wearing like loads of dark dark colours there are are these really like easy ways that you can incorporate colour into your autumn wardrobe without feeling like it's doing the most if you get what I mean but yeah absolutely love this outfit I really love the fit of these jeans like in terms of the kind of like bagginess of them and then that along with the chunky boot it gives it that very masculine feel and then with the top because it is quite fitted then that helps to kind of bring in that more feminine side which I really really like it's all about that balance basically and then of Obviously we have got the oversized leather, faux leather trench coat which I think just tops off the whole outfit. I think it looks super, super nice. What I absolutely love about this leather trench is that like for some reason, I don't know why, but I just feel like it just looks really, really good with like roll neck tops. Like obviously you can wear like different, ki different kinds of tops. You can wear crew neck tops with it, like you can, but I just feel like it looks really nice with like roll neck tops high neck tops, those kind of vibes, turtlenecks, I feel like it looks really, really nice. Also, what I really, really love about this outfit is that even though it does look like a very, you know, um, casual outfit, there are certain parts of it that make it look very elevated. And I would say that that is mainly because of this top. I feel like this mesh top, even though it is, you know, it's got a lot going on, I feel like it definitely elevates the look. It definitely brings it up from being casual to a little bit more on the, I wouldn't say smart casual, but it just doesn't look as casual as if you were to wear it with like a t-shirt, for example. So these are the little ways that you can like, you know, elevate your outfit. So yeah, that is outfit number one. And I am literally obsessed. 
absolutely love this outfit. Okay, so moving on to outfit number two, and it is this knit dress that I have got from Zara. The main reason why I decided to incorporate this knit dress into the outfits is because I wanted to show you guys that, you know, you can still wear skirts, you can still wear dresses with leather trench coats, and it can look really, really good. So I would just say, if you have a um, leather trench coat that is very oversized, like the one that I have, obviously you just need to be a little bit more cautious of your um, like proportions if that makes sense so you need to be careful not to wear things that are too overly baggy as well as wearing obviously the oversized um, trench coat because it can look like you're just a big ball of bagginess basically so we want to show that we do have some form of shape going on under there so that is why I incorporated this knit dress because it isn't super super tight but it isn't baggy it is quite you know it is a little bit fitted and to elevate that look even more I decided to pair it with these snakeskin boots that I always bang on about but I just feel like the snakeskin boots and the knit dress go really really well together and I absolutely love wearing like um, knee high boots or even even like over the knee boots if you can but basically just wearing like knee high boots with longer or like midi skirts because I just feel like it just looks really really sexy I can't actually explain why but I just think it looks really really nice so that's why I paired the two together and then obviously we have the leather trench coat on top and that just gives the the outfit a bit more of a vibe it doesn't make it feel like it's like super classic if that makes sense because obviously the leather trench coat I would say that this is quite a trendy piece if that makes sense but by incorporating it with something that is that looks a little bit more classic it you know elevates to look even more okay so um i decided to add the jw pei because i don't know how to pronounce it um i decided to add their bag and i just feel like it just absolutely completes the look i feel like the colors work really really well together and this outfit just looks even more elevated with the bag oh if you haven't already guys, I would definitely say to have a look on their website because their bags are really, really nice. They look designer, but they are super, super affordable. So I would definitely say to check out their website. So obviously this look is more of a dressier look and this is probably the most dressy out of all of the looks because at the end of the day, we are in, you know, autumn, but we are going through a global pandemic. So most places, if not all places, are shut down so it didn't make sense for me to show you guys outfits that you're not actually going to be able to wear out so majority of the outfits that I am going to be showing you are either casual outfits or smart casual outfits that you can still wear out if you're going for your daily walks or if you need to go to like food shopping and stuff like that so yeah just bear that in mind but yeah that is outfit number two so moving on to outfit three I have this sleeveless I don't know why I'm touching my top like I'm wearing it I'm not it is a sleeveless roll neck top from Zara and then I decided to pair it with these um, dad jeans that I've got these are from Topshop and if you guys have watched any of my other um, videos you will notice that I talk about or style these Topshop jeans these Topshop dad jeans with a lot of outfits and it's because it, they're just so versatile and I absolutely love them like I feel like they're probably one of the best jeans purchases that I have made this year. So I would definitely say if you are interested in getting more of a, you know, um, baggy kind of dad jean, then definitely have a look on Topshop's website. They don't have my ones anymore in this color, but they do have like a lighter one. So I would definitely say to have a look on there if you are interested in some dad jeans. So yeah, just to um, tie everything in, in terms of color, I did actually decide to go for these Reebok and Victoria Beck um, trainers that I've got so they are white but then they do have this like kind of like cream um, camel kind of color around the actual trainer and I feel like that works really really well in terms of tying in more of the like lighter colors it just brings brings it together basically so as you can see again we do have another roll neck but like I said it is autumn so these are the main things that we are actually going to be wearing at the moment so yeah really really love this roll neck I absolutely love the color I just feel like it looks so so nice and then along with the dad jeans and the trainers I just feel like it is just the perfect just like 
casual and pop into the shops kind of outfit but still want to look that little bit more put together absolutely love it so i've worn this outfit out before and um yeah it's just super comfy and it's just so easy like i didn't have to overthink my my outfits and that is the thing with me i hate having to overthink things like if i have to overthink an outfit then i'm probably not going to wear it like i don't have time i just want to know okay this goes with this this goes with this boom we are there so that's why it's really really important to have good staples in your wardrobe so just making sure that you've got jeans that you know that are flattering for you and that will basically go with like a lot of things you know just staple tops as well so long sleeve tops short sleeve tops sleeveless tops like just making sure that you have those staples because that is what actually makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning because they are the basis of your outfit and then everything that you add on top is just you know a bonus basically just to make the look a bit more snazzy just to jazz it up a little bit if that makes sense so yeah this is a super basic outfit but then with everything all combined i feel like it just works so so well so yeah really love this outfit okay so next up we have this really really nice cream tracksuit that i have this is from asos but i have had it for uh, probably about a year or two now so I don't know whether they still have it but they do have a lot of tracksuits on their website at the moment and obviously with us going through the pandemic and coronavirus blah 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 it does make it easier when you do have these kind of things in your wardrobe because we are staying at home a lot more we want to be comfortable and we just want to not have to worry about doing too much when it comes to outfits so this is a really really nice outfit and what I love about it is that even though we are wearing a tracksuit and then I've got my vans on as well, the look just looks so complete and so elevated when you just pop that leather trench coat on top. I feel like it just looks so, so good. Absolutely love this outfit. And again, it just goes to show you could just wear the most casual outfit but if you just have the right jacket the right shoes the right bag these are the things that will help to elevate your look and just make it look that bit more jazzed up and that is why i really really love this leather trench coat because that is literally what it does it takes things and it elevates it so anything casual it will automatically elevate it and i absolutely love it so yeah tracksuits are a really good just casual outfit and then like i said if you do want to elevate them if you do want to make them look a bit more smart just pair them with a jacket that is a little bit more on the smart side and then you are good to go so again this do you know what this is probably one of my favorites out of all of the outfits again because i just love the fact that it is just so simple so so simple and then it just looks so good so i would say to anyone cohorts are your friend whether that be a tracksuit like a full tracksuit whether that be a like knit cohort or any form of cohort is definitely your friend because when you have an outfit that has two pieces that match together it automatically just looks so so good and also it's just very very effortless you don't have to worry about oh what's going to go with this what's going to go with that because you've already got the outfit <laughs> you know you literally already have the outfit so it is down to you to then create you know the final layers of that outfit but you've already got the base and i absolutely love that so yeah i would say to anyone a tracksuit is a really good thing to have in your wardrobe at the moment trust me you need one if you don't have one you need to get one because honestly it's just so effortless so easy and you have a whole outfit there for you also guys i will just say if you are enjoying this video then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you join the family i would love to have you come back and support the channel anyway back to the video okay so moving on to outfit number five we have this white shirt and i do have a video showing how i styled this oversized white shirt so i will link it up here for you guys so you can check it out and i'll also link it in the description box as well so an oversized white shirt is definitely a staple and everyone should have one in their wardrobe so i decided to pair this um oversized shirt this is from asos i decided to pair it with these like 
slim leg mum jeans that I've got. These are also from ASOS. Um, anything that is still available, I will link it in the description box so that, you know, if you guys want to purchase it, then it the link is in the description box, basically. Yes, so the oversized white shirt with these slim leg mum jeans and then the chunky boots and then obviously the trench coat. So this look, it just looks so, so nice. Um, I done the half tuck, so basically where you just tuck in one half of the shirt. So this works really, really well for when you are wearing like uh, long line shirts basically. So just undo maybe like one or two buttons from the bottom and then just tuck in the one side and then you have the half tuck. So yeah, really, really love this look. I like how um, the leather trench and the chunky boot work really, really well together to give the look a bit more of a trendy vibe because I feel like with like a white shirt for example you can either dress it up or you can dress it down or you can dress it super super trendy there's all these different ways that you can style it and i just felt like i wanted to go for a more trendy look and you know for example if you were to pair this white shirt with with a more of a like classic leather boot it would literally give you a completely different outfit basically so yeah i wanted to go for that more like trendy vibe so that is why i paired it with the chunky boots and i just feel like it just looks so so good really really love this outfit it just looks very just like chic and clean cut like if that makes sense i can't explain it i think it's because the shirt is just a crisp white shirt and yeah Yes, I didn't iron the shirt and no, do I care? No, I don't care. I hate ironing. So anyway, yeah, really, really love this outfit. Again, everything just works super, super well together. I really like the colours that we've got going on here because sometimes I find, like I said before, I'm drawn more to wearing, you know, the black jeans or the dark grey jeans or the like washed kind of like black jean. Whereas for this one, I thought to myself, no, let me actually wear a blue jean. And I feel like it looks really, really good. And it stops the outfit from looking too samey, if that makes sense. If I'd wore black jeans with this, I don't think that it would have had the same vibe that we have going on at the moment. So yeah, really, really love this look. Okay, so moving on to outfit number six, we have this grey roll neck dress. This is from Zara. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you again that, you know, you can and wear trench coats with skirts, dresses, all of that good stuff. So obviously before we had the um, midi length knit dress and now we have this more, I wouldn't say that it's mini because it's not, but it's not, it's like halfway between a mini and a midi basically. So yeah, decided to pair it with this dress and then the chunky boots. Now, me adding these grey socks was actually by accident because I was just wearing grey socks to begin with, but I do really like that vibe of when you have your boots and then you have the little bit of the sock at the top coming out. I feel like it would have looked really, really nice if the socks were a bit more chunky, but again, it's fine. It was an accident and it just happened to, you know, happen basically. So yeah, but still really, really like this look. Again, there are days you know there are days in um, autumn where it's not too too cold so you can still get away with wearing you know having your legs out wearing skirts that kind of good stuff so I would say for days like that this would be a really really good outfit also with the leather trench as well because it is so long it wouldn't even look weird if you were you know out and you had on like a, a dress underneath it I don't think people would be like why is she wearing a dress like you know how people are I don't think they'd be like that because at the end of the day obviously your um your trench coat is really really long so technically that is protecting you from some form of you know rain cold weather I guess <laughs> So yeah, don't listen to anyone when they say, hey, why are you wearing a skirt? Why are you wearing a dress? Who are you trying to impress? Shut up, okay? If I want to wear a dress in autumn, I will wear it. Basically, that is what you need to tell them. Again, with this dress, if you did want to, you know, dress it up a bit more, then you could pair it with a more classic, like, ankle boot. But because I wanted to tone it down a little bit, that is why I went for the chunky boots. And again, just keeping it on trend with the chunky boots and the leather trench, I feel like they 
go really, really well together. They are a really good combination. Another shoe that I think would work really, really well with this is the boots that like, you know, the tie up boots that a lot of people have been wearing. Like I really, really like them, but I just feel like I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of them myself. But if you do have a pair of those boots that, you know, come up, they're like a knee high boot and they tie up all the way. I think that that would also look really, really nice with this outfit. And also that is another way to stop your legs from feeling cold basically. So that is another way that you could get away with wearing dresses and skirts during autumn by just having more like knee high boots. Okay, and last but not least, we have the last outfit and that is basically this purple knit jumper that I have. And I decided to pair it with these washed black jeans that I have got. And I feel like the color combination of the purple and the washed jean works really, really well together. I absolutely love it and then again I have bought in the chunky boots because again I want this look to look a bit more trendy I really love the look of these jeans I just feel like they just look so so good and also I really like the um, the ankle part of the jean as well because it does have some like fraying on it and I just feel like that and the chunky boot looks really really nice together I don't know why but it just does <laughs> so yeah absolutely love this outfit I would say that this is probably the more obvious outfit that you would be wearing right now obviously it is a knit jumper jeans and boots that is what majority of people are wearing right now because it is autumn and because it is starting to get a little bit cold so yeah this is just a very generic general realistic everyday look that you could go with but the trench coat is what makes this outfit pop i'm telling you guys if you are going to invest please invest in a leather trench coat just feel like they just look so so good and obviously i know like certain like trendy items aren't for everyone but i do feel like even though this is somewhat of a trendy item I feel like you can still carry this on throughout the years. I don't necessarily think that a leather trench coat or a long leather jacket will really go out of fashion. So I think it would actually be a really good investment. So I decided to pair it with this bag that I've got. This is from ASOS and um, yeah, just a plain black bag because you know, I didn't want to add any more extra color because obviously we've got the purple jumper on and I feel like that is kind Kind of like the star of the show if that makes sense that's where you can add like your little pop of color so i would say don't be afraid to try you know little pops of color when it comes to your knitwear that is a good place to start if you want to add a little bit of color into your wardrobe because obviously it's easier to add color when it comes to knitwear as opposed to adding it to for example your coats your jackets or even like your trousers and stuff like that it is a lot harder to add color to those things however when it comes to knitwear that is a really easy way to just add a little pop of color a little pattern going on here and there that is where you should try and like incorporate those different colors those different patterns those different prints because it's the easiest way basically to add a little bit of vibrancy to your wardrobe all right then guys so that is the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed this i absolutely love the leather trench coat trend and i do think that it is definitely here to stay so i hope that you guys enjoyed all of the um, outfits that i showed you don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys so that you don't miss any of my forthcoming content you can also find me on instagram at fashion and face but yes guys i will catch you in the next one bye